What's going on Collider Games fans, I'm Caboose and today I'm bringing you guys a little news update here for Spider-Man PS4. Of course we have the latest DLC expansion dropping this month on November 20th with Turf Wars. This DLC is going to be centering around Hammerhead as we saw him teased at the end of the first expansion, The Heist. Now we've got a brand new trailer for Turf Wars, which you are seeing in the background, but on top of a brand new trailer, we also got the reveal of three new suits that we're going to be getting in this expansion, and well, let's just say it's definitely a huge step up from what we got in the first expansion. So... This time around in the Turf Wars DLC, we are going to be getting three suits, and you're seeing them on screen from left to right. They are known as the Spider Armor Mark I suit, the Spider Clan suit, and then the original comic book Iron Spider suit from, of course, the Civil War storyline. And I gotta say, I am extremely happy with all three of these costumes. Honestly, I don't know which of these three I am most excited about. All three of them I'm really happy to see, but I think to narrow it down, it comes down between the Spider Armor Mark 1 and the Iron Spider suit. These are two suits that I was actually hoping would be DLC, so I'm very happy to see them. And if I really think about it, if I have to choose one on the spot, my favorite probably is the Spider Armor Mark 1 suit, as I really love the design of that suit and I'm glad that we got it in the game now to complete the collection of all the spider armor suits so we have spider armor mark one now then we got mark two three and four already in the base game so we kind of complete that collection so I'm very satisfied to see that we are so overall very happy with the suit selection and of course like I said the turf wars DLC expansion drops next week on November 20th and to give you guys a little breakdown on what it's going to be about we have a tiny little synopsis here so it's mentioned on the PlayStation website under the tab for the city that never sleeps DLC for turf wars that Sable International has left the city but local gangs scavenge their bases and weapons Encounter more powerful enemy types and bases fortified with the stolen Sable International equipment. And then, of course, we got a bit of a breakdown regarding what the story itself is going to be about. And from what we can tell via the trailer, we see that Yuri has been held captive by Hammerhead. And Spider-Man has to step in and save her and take down the Magia. What's most interesting to note, though, about the little description that we got is that, well, yes, the Magia are using and have stolen Sable International equipment so this could definitely be what brings silver sable back into play within the third dlc expansion in december titled silver lining a lot of people are speculating that silver sable would be involved in that expansion simply because it's called silver lining but now that we're seeing the way that the story is unfolding in the city that never sleeps it makes sense that she would come back into play within that expansion because her equipment is stolen and being used by the magia so it might all wrap up with her coming back into play and maybe there's going to be an additional villain as they do introduce new characters within these dlc expansions and that's kind of how we will take down the magia once and for all in silver lining with silver sable by our side working together but that's it that's all the news that we got for turf wars once again the expansion drops next week on november 20th and now we kick it to you guys let us know your thoughts on all this in the comments section below which suit of the three dlc suits is your favorite we want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments and of course if you enjoyed the video a positive rating would be much appreciated and then you can subscribe to the collider games channel for more spider-man ps4 content as well as all gaming content i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later